support all. I thank my friend for yielding, and I, I appreciate the cautionary tale my ranking member gives. I, I just want to say it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be uh, that partisan uh, approach, and historically it has not been. Reconciliation is the tool that we use to make these hard decisions, but historically we've done these things uh, collaboratively. I will remind my friends, since many of them are, are new, when we passed the Balanced Budget Act of 1997, Republicans leading the House, a Democrat in the, uh, in the White House, we reduced the budget by $127 billion in five years. It passed 85 to 15 uh, in, the, in the Senate. Uh, I'll remind my friends when we reformed welfare, Republicans in the House, Democrats in the, in the White House, uh, it passed 78 to 21 in the Senate, both processes through reconciliation. I will remind my friends when Democrats controlled the United States uh, Senate and President Bush was in the White House, we passed our reconciliation bill on a voice vote. Yes, reconciliation is a tool for mandatory spending changes, and it's the only tool that we have. And yes, it ensures that with 51 votes, we can move the needle for the American people, but it doesn't have to be 51 votes. It could be 65 votes. It could be 76 votes. It could be a voice vote. And as my speaker likes to say, I would encourage my colleagues to raise their gaze that perhaps we might get there this year. With that, I yield back the balance of my time.